Hey guys, Johnny and Lawrence back for the next episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. Hello. So I'm over in the hunting dimension this time because last episode we were trying to get the energy condenser and we got pretty much all this stuff except from dark matter and blocks of insanium. So the things holding us back here, uh, this stuff was fine, it was just a very long craft. Yeah. The blocks of insanium on the other hand, they needed Gaia spirit. And I spent a long time over here trying out various different ways to get the Gaia spirit ingots automatically. So we tried the Draconic Evolution mob grinder or crusher, the spinny mob crusher from mob grinding utility, spikes, lava, mechanical users and swords. Uh, we tried wooding, we tried the industrial for going machines, and I don't think there's a way to automate this. So, yeah, <laughs> this was as good as we could get. So, it looks like you can put vector plates down, and then when you right click this down here, you, we've just made like a little safe room down here. And when he spawns, he just always gets pushed right here. So, we can just stand here and pretty much just cheese him. Mm -hmm. uh, we also found out that the. The carrot we made ages ago, the wither one, you can use that to stop getting the wither effect. But, but that was the main thing we were sitting grinding away doing beforehand. <laughs> um, we also beefed up our steel of the first degree stuff. Because um, we just weren't getting that fast enough for those those big crafts. So if we go down a mob basement, you'll see this crazy setup here. So we now have a ton of magma crucibles making blazing pyrothium. And I've added another four fluid transposers up here making the steel of the first degree. There's another four up on the thermal expansion platform. And Lawrence has also been busy down here. Yes. Can I run through that? Yep. Uh, let me just pop down. So I have... We sort of realized that we... A way of almost cheesing the... Oh, there is an ancient golem there for some reason. Um, yeah, I don't know why he's a... Probably a spawnable space somewhere. Yes, so. But we basically, well, I thought of, that's right, I came up with it all I on my own. don't know if that's really true, actually, but okay. Um, basically, to make sure we have infinite amount of resources, we I've set up this big, essentially, stack of storage of the infinite barrels. So all the stuff from our seeds comes into these barrels first. It then gets extracted into this draw controller which is then hooked up to Applied Energistics. So Applied Energistics only sees these drawers, which are f totally full of uh, Emerald upgrades. There's no Void upgrades or anything. Yeah, and then that's quite essentially nice. when we use something, it will pull it from the stack of drawers first, and then the barrels, if there's stuff in here. Will automatically fill it back up? Yep. And pretty much the main reason for this is there was some stuff, like blaze rods, we were getting through faster than the supply we had on hand. Yes. So we we needed to improve that a little bit. And I think this is quite a good solution. Short of just making like a crazy amount of like 64k or bigger storage cells. But essentially, all that grinding is meant we were able to make the Mark 1 energy condenser yay um, so i've also put a nice chest here a nice obsidian chest to try and keep it nice and protected but uh, i never want to have to fight the gaia spirit again and i know i probably will have to for some reason but i'm hoping i don't have to yeah um so we have put that there so when we get the wand of animation we can just animate stuff going forward but we have our energy condenser yay that is pretty nice that is pretty nice so we now have EMC, which is pretty nice. nice. I am happy with this. I kind of want to stick something in it. See yeah, we should stick something in it. Uh, mm, emerald blocks? We've probably got more emerald blocks than nether stars. Yeah. Oh, wait, we don't have emerald blocks, but we have emeralds. But I put that in there, and that's not how this thing works. Oh, there you go. What, what did you put in? I put in some blocks of quartz. Uh, okay. Because I had them in Yeah, so I did that the wrong way around. I think you want to put in the thing in the bottom that you want to make. I can never remember. No, no, I think it's the, the thing, thing in the top, top is what you want to make. And then anything you dump in here will get converted into EMC. And if there's enough, you'll get all the products on top. Do you not still have that block? No, because I, I put it in the bottom bit and they all got used up. 
Oh, and then it deleted when we took it out. That's annoying. Yeah. Oh, oh well. There you go. That was EMC. Uh, pop that there. Boop. Woo. And so, just yeah, convert. that's going to take a long time to convert all that stuff because this only has 1,056. Yeah. It doesn't even show you how much EMC we have in that bar. Oh, I took it out. Um, what has more EMC, do you think? Diamonds. Well, you Diamonds. just destroyed all our EMC again. No, I didn't. I did. Destroying. Oh. It still says zero now. Oh. <laughs> Anytime oh, you take it out, it seems to destroy it, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, that is kind of annoying. Sorry. Hmm. I didn't realize that was the case. Oh, you know what it is? It's because we're both using it. Is EMC not tied to a player? Oh, maybe. That I bet you sense. we're confusing this thing. Hmm. Okay, let me put in... What 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 may we want? Let's make more nether stars from emerald blocks. I think okay. that makes sense. So if I put one nether star... Oh no, the EMC is still there. Oh, oh, so because I've now put something in, it went back to my EMC, I guess? Oh, okay. That's interesting. So, if, so yeah, if I chuck emeralds in there, it's going to convert all of them into nether stars. Well, if I take the nether star out... Oh. Yeah, then it goes to zero. I was going to put it back in, but apparently that's not an item. No, it is not an item. But anyway, now that we have a way to actually make use of EMC, we're going to want EMC. So one of the things we started looking into last episode also was RF tools. Yes. So we could get into some RF tools dimensions. And if we find that section of the quest book, we didn't actually get very far. And I think it was the dimension builder. Yeah, uh, so yes. looks like a nice simple recipe. But if you go into the ultimate induction provider, you then need induction providers, energy cubes. And this the, these like rabbit holes are quite deep. Yeah. So that took a lot of crafting and a lot of capacitors. So to save everybody a bit of time, I have made everything from RF tools. Right. I think we're going to need. I forgot as well. We left this matter condenser here as well, just so we could finish up getting a stack of singularities, which is quite yeah. nice. So... We're not needing them this very second, but I will put them in there and we will have them next time. But anyway, back to RF tools. We're going to want to make a, a dimension filled with a high EMC item. Mm -hmm. And I have been looking through the Dimlet workbench in a test world and looking at all the EMC. And I think the highest thing we can do cobblestone. is... Cobblestone. Yeah, it's cobblestone. Mm -hmm. You're right. You nailed it. Yep. Got it on one. <laughs> No, it's actually um, Silky Jewels, it turns oh, okay. out. So let me just find... Actually not something I would have expected. I, I figured it was like emeralds. Oh. Yeah, I really thought it was going to be like draconium or something. Annoyingly, you can make like supremium blocks in an RF tools world, but... but they don't have EMC. They do not have EMC. I also want a like machine infuser. I think... I think I've grabbed mm -hmm. everything. Oh, workbench, probably want that. Right, I think I've grabbed everything we need. We're probably going to get a lot of quests completed. Yes. Actually, you know what? Let me just grab all these other items and we will just finish all of our F-Tools, wait for this fanfare to finish, and we'll be back <laughs> in a sec. So guys, the fanfare has finally finished and I have all of the machines I think we're going to need, he says, optimistically. But, yeah. well, that's not true, actually. I'm missing one machine, and that would be... The actual, probably one of the most useful ones, the Dimlet Workbench. And the reason for that is because we don't have a Dimlet base part. Oh, okay. So we need to get a Dimlet base part. So I'm just going to dump all my inventory here for a second. And these Dimlet parcels we were getting, I guess, from the mob oh. farm. When you open them, you get all these Dimlet parts. And oh, hopefully we them. get a base one. Yeah, we get it. Oh, if I drop open more, do they just fall on the floor? Yes. Ah. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Didn't know that. No, oh, okay. But I think I've got the one I need. So if I chuck it in the system, should be able to make a workbench. Nice. Yeah. Okay, maybe that's a really tricky recipe. There we go. That took longer than I expected, <laughs> but it did work. So that's all that matters. So let's plonk this down here. And actually, let's quickly look at RF tools. I think, yeah, we have completed that section. And we're probably going to be using pretty much everything that we just got. So mm. I'm going to go ahead and open a bunch. Well, we're going to go ahead and open a bunch more of these. Chuck them all on the workbench. And just because that's dull. And once that's, we've done that, we'll be back in a sec. So we've got a fair wacky stuff in here now. 
So I just need to try and remember how I use all these other <laughs> machines. So let's just chuck them all down for a second. Uh, I was <laughs> going to say you could teach me whilst you do it. Uh, yeah. You know what we should be doing at the moment? Because it takes a minute. Do you want to grab some dimensional shards? And yep. in RF tools, you can actually infuse machines and it makes them more efficient. So you can ironically also infuse the machine infuser. So we've made two so that we can infuse one of the infusers with the infuser. <laughs> oh, okay. But uh, this... I think you need to put it in. Oh, I tr it wouldn't shift click. So I just assumed it wasn't no. working. Uh, uh, do you have a spectral coil or something? No, maybe I'll get one. Okay, well, if you're doing that, then... So the dimensional builder, once we have a program dimension tab, which we only have an empty one at the moment, you can use this to actually start the dimension. The inscriber is how you actually program your dimension, I guess is the best word. And the dialing device is how you tell the matter transmitter where to teleport you to at the moment. Oh, okay. We have no work. So is the machine infused? No, and no. it's still going. This tech acceleration looks like it's doing something, but not affecting it. It's kind of oh, disappointing. It's not showing anything on my screen. Hmm. But I think, so what we're wanting is we want a silky jewel world. So if we look at how to get the silky jewel dimlet, this needs a material absorber, but we have everything else. So we're going to need to get a hundred blocks of silky jewel mm -hmm. and then put uh, the material absorber on top of it, which hopefully we can just make. I've also got some patterns for silky jewels, I thought. Nice. But I don't see them. Oh, yeah, no, they are there. So let's make a hundred of those. And for some reason, that's going to take a minute. So the other things we're going to want is we'll grab that material absorber for when we need it. But okay. I think we also probably want to make a flat world. Yeah, we I guess so. Agree. So you can, you can decide on the terrain of your world, and there's quite a few different options. So you can do, like, amplify, covering, chaotic, filled waves, flat, blah, 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 blah. Lots. But I think flat's probably... Oh, wait. Ooh. Did you just pick up a dimensional... Uh, I've mined up the machine, and I don't have it, basically. Uh, yes. There's also one called solid. And I, only, I don't know how we would get a solid. So we have two options. We can... Actually, you know what we're going to try first? So for flat, we need to have the... Rather than a material absorber, we need a terrain absorber. Uh, okay. Which should hopefully be quite easy as well. Like, none of these recipes looked very expensive. Mm. So that's why I've just made all craft for them all. But I think the hunting dimension is flat. Yes, it is. Do you think that will count as, you know... Working? Probably. <laughs> um, what did you want me to infuse next? Everything. 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 Yeah. So here's me in the hunting dimension, and it should just be a case that wherever you put it down, it absorbs that terrain. No, this is terrain normal. Oh, it's definitely flat. Well, we will, we will absorb terrain normal very, very slowly. Yeah. Hmm. That's going to take a second. I don't know if this is chunk loaded over here, is it? I, I don't think so. Okay, I know, I'm going to have to stand here for a minute. So <laughs> we yeah. will be back once that's finished absorbing. So whilst we're waiting on the terrain absorber doing its job, I realized I could probably be working on the material absorber. So this is our lovely silky block of jewel. And I have exactly 100. So I am hoping I'm right. And it is 100. I think it is. I mean, when have we ever been right? You know what? I should have made this eight long. That would have made more sense. Because then it would just be um, a square. That eight would be a, that would be a yeah. square. But instead, I just went ahead and made nine long because it was making me uncomfortable not being straight. Uh, symmetrical. <laughs> but basically, <laughs> you just put down all the blocks and then whatever blocks under the material absorber is what it will absorb. So you should just see eating away at all those blocks. And I think as long as they're all connected, I don't know if there's a range limit. You should hopefully eat them all up. We'll look at it. Oh, it's, oh, it's more than 100. No. We're at 78%. It must be 128 then, I guess. Two stacks. That, that probably makes sense, yeah. 
yeah, Minecraft maths is weird. Like it's wow. just base sixty four. It's not base sixty four. Wow. Base sixty four is a completely different thing. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, you get yeah. up to sixty four, and then you have a stack. No, I think yeah, that's base sixty four is an encoding algorithm. <laughs> But oh uh, well, it's close. It's basically the same thing. You're right. <laughs> I know I'm right. You it's are so fine. right. But our terrain absorber has done its job. So I think, and we've got the 28 silky jewels. And I only, every time I place one of these, it's just going to eat it instantly. But for 28, I figure we can probably just stand here and right click for a second. Yeah. Apparently you cannot infuse the dimensional inscriber. Oh. Okay, oh well, to be fair, that makes sense. It doesn't really do anything. But we have a block of silky jewel absorbed. Yay. So that's awesome. So we should be able to head back home. Well, I should be able to head back home and start making some of these dimlet things. So now that we've got our absorbers and things, we should be able to actually craft them. So if I look for a silky block of jewel, if you just double click it, it should like put all the stuff you need, assuming it's inside the workbench. So that's quite handy to store your stuff in there. And now we have the material dimlet, but we still need the terrain absorber, which is a bit of a shame because I didn't really want a normal world. You know what? Should we... What do you want? Do you want normal or... Should... Is normal okay? I, I don't know. We can make more silky jewels. If this doesn't work, we can make more. It's fine, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay, well, let's search for normal. And uh, not sky type. We really don't care about the sky type. And I don't really care about the time either, unless you do. No. No. Okay. Should we just go for it on the first run, or should we yeah, make a test dimension, sure. or? Ah, let's go for it. Okay. So I think we put our dimension tablet here, and then maybe the terrain dimlet. Nope. Okay. Warning. Maybe the other way around. Yeah. So your material dimlet's got to precede the terrain dimlet. So does it say how much this is going to cost? No. Does not, but we will call this Silky Jewel Store. We have a realized dimension which costs 401,000 RF per tick to create. Is that gonna be okay? That's more than our Enderspector coils can do. Okay, well, it only costs 100,000 to run, so that's still more. Yeah, that's like but five sides. What's the what's the Ender I.O. thing called that we've been using? Uh, dimension trim? I don't think it's dimension. The the thing where like sends Dimensional power. Dimensional transceiver. Is it actually called dimension? Yes. Okay. I I take it back. I do apologize. Something else I'm right about them. So we should be able to plunk this down on the dimensional builder. This is the one we want. If I chuck that there. Oh, we need a capacitor. Oh, we always need a capacitor. It's fine, a basic one will do, right? I feel for this, we probably want the best one we can make. Um, I'm going to craft a Stellar, mm -hmm. but maybe just go pinch one from one of the other machines. Okay. Maybe like the painting machine or something. That doesn't exactly need the most amazing hey, The thing painting ever. machine is very important. Yeah, so we will send that to receive, and actually, you know what, I'm going to craft another one of those as well, because we're going to want a way to send stuff back from this dimension. Yeah. That Is that be... working? Yes. Awesome. Uh... I'm hoping... That filled up reasonably quickly. If okay. we put this in here... Oh, it just starts working straight away. <laughs> oh, no, that doesn't go fast enough. No. Okay. It just drains. Yep. Okay. Although the send receive buffer is full still. I'm wondering if we can't extract power quick enough. Yeah, I know. I think it's probably a limitation of this now, maybe. Oh, but it can send. 675,000 RF per tick. Hmm. Why is that not working? No idea. Yeah, that's strange. Like, I feel like there isn't a power limitation on these things. Should I just chuck it? Why is that going down? No idea. I mean, it is still going... What? There isn't, like, a configuration for power, surely, is there? Mm, I don't think so. Mm, no, that's just for items. Yeah, that's, uh... I don't know why when that's full... Like, I mean, even if we couldn't send power fast enough, 
This should be like output it fast enough, right? Yeah, I think so. I wonder if we get some like uh, conduits, like some of the good conduits. I don't even think the good conduits are going to be fast enough in this instance. No, I may have been upgrading some conduits. For the oh, numbers. okay. Yeah, that doesn't seem to have helped. What conduits are you going for, like? Um, I was going to go for the melodic, because they can do 300. Yeah, okay. Well, I was also thinking we could try the cryo-stabilized flux ducts. I mean, if you want. Well, I mean, we only need two. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Not, that, it's not exactly a crazy amount. Well, I mean, I've, I've literally just crafted the melodic. Oh. Wait, um, in the wrong place. How fast did the melodics? Uh, three hundred and twenty-seven thousand. I predict. Uh, I don't know okay. what that is. I suppose that's maybe okay. These ones are infinite, though, so it's up to you. Uh, oh, I mean, the, I've put two on, and that's not keeping up. Oh, okay. So, yeah, maybe. You want to get rid of them? Yeah. And because I do think these look quite cool as well. That's still not keeping up. So the issue seems to be, for some reason, this thing is not sending fast enough. What? I, well, I don't I mean, understand. But the buffers why. are full. I know. Like, it's got the energy. Maybe... I don't know. Slap I wonder, more. Yeah, that's all I can think. Wait, I, I really don't get this. I mean, to be fair, it's at 97%. Yeah, I know, but we're going to need power to run it as well. Do you want to go grab another capacitor? <laughs> Yeah, what machine am I stealing it from this time? Maybe one of the old school smelteries that we're not using? Yeah, okay. Like, none of them are getting used anymore, I don't think. I will grab the stellar capacitors <clears throat> out of all of them. So it says that it's fully charged and working. So I'm going to go to this dimension. But I am going to make sure I have my phased fuel generator. So in case you've not seen this before, it basically means if you go to an underpowered dimension, you won't die immediately. So um, I feel like that's a good idea just now. Probably. So let me... Oh, we need to name this. Uh, let's see, what shall we name this? Silky Jewel 1. Nah, meh. There we go, we'll name it that. Ah, okay. <laughs> you know you're going to be looking for that dimension again and you're not going to be able to find it because you've just named it something random. No, the dimension's called Silky Jewel 1. It's the transmitter that is oh, not needing okay. a name. And I figured we'll probably use this same one and just use the dial once. Why can't I dial you? Oh, this needs power? Why does the dialing device need power? I mean, it is trying to send you somewhere. No, it's not. It's, it's not. just programming the no. matter transmitter where to send me. I like, mean, computers also need power. What? This is a stupid computer. That is a beam of light. I am Bye. teleporting. Stupid computer. Oh, oh that is, uh, yeah, this isn't quite the terrain forming I was hoping for. That looks like I, terrain? It looks like terrain. It doesn't look like flat. No. I don't know why it didn't absorb flat terrain from the... I don't know. Well, I think it's maybe it's a custom dimension, that's why. Yeah, that's kind of... I mean, this is a lot of silky jewels. Like, don't get me wrong, but I just wanted more. So this and is, no water. I didn't want water. This is where I start pulling capacitors out of things, right? Well, that's the point in this machine. This thing stopped me dying. Hello, I am. Um, I do have mining fatigue and slowness. Maybe this is underpowered. I don't know. Yeah, and bombs. Um, from my end, it looks fine. It's yeah. The dimension is full of energy. Strange. There is so many mobs here. Right. I am just gonna slash home because. Yeah. Cheap. Yeah. Cheaty, cheaty. Well, it's not cheating. It's built into the pack. It's hardly cheating. Um. So the question is, do we want to use that dimension, or do we want to try and make a better one? Because I kind of want a flat one. I mean, if you want, I would probably just... I don't, yeah, probably. That does make sense. Yeah, I think maybe if we get a flat one, and we get it so it's daytime all the time, so that mobs don't spawn... And maybe if we can get rid of the water? If we try and get all the stuff together to make that dimension, I think that would be good. Okay. Yep. Yep. Cool. We'll be back in a minute. So it just dawned on me that I never actually mentioned how we were going to do this. So um, 
what I'm going to do is just make a load of RF tool dimensions until I find a flat one, pretty much. Why is that currently not craftable? What's Are these not craftable? What? I have the stuff. Can you um, craft it? What, what do you need me to craft? Did you? Did you? Oh, it's got um, no power. Does this need power? I guess so. so it does have... that need power? Okay, but it was working to be... Oh, do you think because it was in my inventory? Oh, you charged it and then... No, I've still not got power. What? No. Do these dimensional transpies are... Yeah, there we go. Now it should have power. Yep. Yeah, but even that's charging so slow. Like, this makes no sense. That thing's got a full send-receive buffer. Yeah. And it says it can transfer 500,000 per tick. But that is not 500,000 per tick. But, uh, yeah. If anybody knows why that's not working, let us know. <laughs> but, uh, no, these still aren't craftable. I, I am confused. Why can't I craft them, Lawrence? I, I don't know. See, these ones I get why I can't craft, because they need extra things. But digits should be fine. I am confused. So it turns out I was being an idiot. Um, you don't actually need the Dimlet Workbench to make digits. You can just do them in normal crafting. Yeah. And if you want to change the number, you can just recraft it and it goes from a 0 to a 1, a 1 to a 2, a 2 to a 3. But the reason we're doing this is so when we... So I'm just going to make, like, temp... I'll call this temp 0 and I'll put in 0. How is that? So we're just going to make a bunch of, like, rubbish dimensions for a bit until we find one that has the stuff we want. Man, that charges so much faster. Yeah. And now we can use the dialing device to go to temp one. And these are just going to be whatever RF tools feels like, pretty much. Okay. This is not flat. So that, ooh. These are kind of interesting looking. They do look kind of cool. Oh, they're the enchant. This is the enchanted forest from the <laughs> Twilight. This took us so long to find this last episode. And now you've just got a dimension full of it. What is this? Dimensional cross blocks. I don't know what these are. Oh, okay. That is filled with lavium. No. <laughs> wow. Didn't expect that. Didn't did not expect that at all. So this has orbs filled with liquid. So this is actually a feature that maybe we want to grab. Maybe. I don't know. We we might just make a bunch of these dimensions. So we've made a oh, dimension zero fill it with blazing pyrophium. That's actually not a bad... That is really not a bad idea. All those liquids, I never even considered that in the past. Who's clever? You are very clever. Yeah. I will give Ooh, you that. Ooh, chance cube. But uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and make a bunch of these dimen dimensions, find all the features or whatever we're wanting, and then we'll try and make an even better silky jewel dimension. So we just realized our applied energistic system is filled up, and I forgot that we left Woot running. So, yeah, that, that's by blaming you. Yeah, we have a 1.3 million Alpha Yeti for and ice bombs and things that are just filling up applied energistics. So yeah, we're going to need to sort that when we go home as well. But I was just um, grabbing uh, the current time because when I put this down, it was 12 o'clock and then we got distracted by all the whole, you know, uh, uh, applied uh, energistics being wrecked yeah. thing. <laughs> so I'm still just over here grabbing some of the terrains and things. We found this wavy one, which theoretically is as good as flat, because it should just be the same amount of mass. But I still kind of want to see if we can find a solid one. Like, if solid is what I'm picturing solid is, it might just be like stone block, essentially. And that would be even better. So we're just flying around this RF tools dimension and all this sand decided to like fall, which looks quite cool. <laughs> it did look quite cool. Yeah, it's quite nice. But uh, we're we're still on the hunt for like uh, dimlets and things and terrain things. But uh, I just thought that looked quite interesting. <laughs> so I think I finally just made the dimension I want, and I died because it is collapsing. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I guess we can't give it enough power. Oh. That's I swear I had the, like, don't die thing on me is the weird thing. Maybe it was drained? Hmm. 
So this says it needs, yeah, 200,000 RF per tick. That's a lot. Which should be fine. Like, this thing can output 200,000 RF per tick. It's not having an issue with it. <laughs> mm. I don't know why this thing's not working. Can you do me a favor and make some more of the cryostabilized dots? And we're just going to hook up more of them and see if maybe we can get this thing. I'm going to have to move the dimensional inscriber. But we'll try setting that up and see if we can get this thing to actually stay powered. Because it's not at the moment. Way. <laughs> so we had to connect a lot of sides of these transceivers. But it looks like it is staying up almost. Like we might want a tiny little bit more. I will attach more sides. Um, I think the more interesting thing is, are we making enough power? Ooh, yes, just probably. Yeah. We probably need to increase our power generation ever so slightly to maintain this long term. But for now, I should be able to at least return and get my stuff. Yeah. Also, you'll notice we made a lot of other worlds. Um, <laughs> so we were trying to find the terrain solid. And apparently that is really, really rare. And I was not having much luck finding that. But, but, I think we are in a world that is literally solid, silky blocks of jewel. Nice. Which is pretty awesome, I think. Yeah, um, I would agree. The annoying thing is our applied energistic system is kind of completely ruined at the moment. Yeah. Uh, because we left our wood farm running a while, it filled up the whole system with Alpha Yeti and all those other mob drops and stuff. I blame you. Yeah, I feel like that one was me. So Lawrence is currently fixing that. But, if you don't mind, I think I should be able to continue on with this now. Oh, that's fine. I'll just keep exporting stuff around. <laughs> okay. You do. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to be mining this stuff. So that we can uh, convert it into EMC. So I'm actually just going to use the RF tool builder for the this. And I think, how do we want to do this? I think maybe, no. I'm, I'm trying to decide. I think if we just put these all like, no, oh, I can't even click anymore. What is going on? You have broken. Yeah, pretty much. So how these work is you have to configure a shape card. And if you've not came across the RF Tools builders before, they're really... Oh, okay. Because we've got Applied Energistics basically completely offline, I can't even do this because, although it's the cheapest recipe ever, pretty much, we don't have any diamonds, iron ingots, or sticks in the system, so I'm going to have to wait on Lawrence finishing fixing um, Applied Energistics. I can hook it up for a little bit. Yeah, well, once we've got that stuff crafted, I'll come back and we'll be able to set this up properly. Okay, so I think I've got everything we need now to get these builders online. So I've also chucked down some terrain absorbers because of how hard it was to find the solid terrain. I, uh, I want to get clones, basically. <laughs> I don't want to have to go through that again. That's a good idea. It was like 20 dimensions and about 400 of the um, RF tool buildings to actually find the one we needed. But anyway... We have that now, and we can configure these builders to start quarrying the area. So you can actually take these shape cards and shift, right click them. I can't because this room's too small. There we go. If we go for a box, we want a solid box, and we want it to be big. So I think, is it is it 512 is the maximum? I think so. Yep, 512 is the maximum. It cuts you off if you try and do any more. Um, 256 is the height of the map and 512 again for that the offset I can't actually remember I think we need to just offset the Y so you can actually change it in here where the offset is so I want the I guess I want the southwest corner to be the offset so if we take the shape card out again and shift right click that should have changed the offset for us it did which is nice so we actually want to offset the y as well because i think if i'm not mistaken if we show where is the button support preview yeah this is kind of hard to tell but i think that just stops there yeah 
So we're currently at y66, so we're going to want to reduce that to minus 66, I would guess. I guess or would so. it be plus 66? I think it'll be minus 66. Yeah, let's find out. <laughs> we will find out together. So support preview on. Yes, so that should have moved the whole thing down minus 66, which should be the ground, I think. Well, the ground in this is obviously not ground. ground. It's just uh, hopefully solid silky jewel the whole way. And we should be able to turn that one on. But I kind of want to set them all up. So that one will do from like this corner here out. And then this one, I will just configure all these shape cards in the same way. And once that's all done, I will come back in a sec. So guys, I'm back in the home, well, overworld briefly, because I was just setting up another dimensional transceiver, and I've set a new channel up called Destroy for EMC. <laughs> That's on that. So yeah, basically anything that comes in on this item channel is just going to get translocated out into our energy condenser, and I've just set that to generate dark matter balls, because it's pretty much the most expensive EMC thing we have just now. Yep. But I should be able to go back, and I think I've finished setting up the builders, but I've not tested, so we will find out in a second. It's right or wrong. I think it's right. Oh, yeah, now you teleport inside the... inside the dislocate, the trans... Seaver. That's not ideal. Ah, but yeah, no. so I've infused all the builders now as well, because I forgot to do that before. But they should all have shape cards set up. So if I just turn one on for a second, they're all set to do the corner, sorry, away and to the right from them. So there will be this block. Well, this whole row here will be missed in this whole row, but eh, it's good enough. I wanted it to be symmetrical. Mm. And then I've set up this translo uh, translocator, transceiver even to, well, I've not set it up yet but I want it to send on the destroy for EMC channel. And now I'm just going to tell this to always be on. And I think I forgot how these work. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, because I think they need a chest above them to dump the output into. I don't know if I can just have them going straight into that. New. No. Okay. I will put a chest on top of this for a second just to make sure that it actually works. But I might have screwed it all up somehow. We don't have any chest? That is surprising. Well, let me put a chest there. Yeah, I screwed it up somehow. No. It is not going. Why is it not going? Press to restart. Oh, okay, now it's going. Oh, it's going to get snow as well. Does snow have EMC? It does. That's yeah. cool. Well, I'm going to have to move extra. this up. I need another cryo power thing. You should be able to request them. Oh, yeah, the system's all back online, isn't it? I have worked tires. No, of... I can't. Oh. There's no recipe for them. Oh. <laughs> wow. But you have worked tirelessly on fixing our AE, so I do thank you for that, because it was pretty screwed. Ooh, why is that not... Oh, that's not working, because the chest is filled. That's fine. But I will go ahead and move all this up and then we'll come back and see if this works. So here we go guys, I have added a chest to the top of them all, turned them all on, and now I'm just going to put down the, not the dank, no, nope. the dimensional transceiver. Come on, put it down, there we go. Um, oh, this retains its configuration, that is quite nice, oh, I did okay. not know that. So just pop all these back on. And I'm hoping this works fine. You know what else I need, actually? A chicken chunk loader. <laughs> I never thought about that, because this uh, is not going to stay loaded as soon as I go away, is it? Probably not. Uh -oh. Can you... Whoa, 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 that is loud. It's working. <laughs> uh, okay, that's one good sign. So yeah, on the default shape card, it actually replaces all the blocks with dirt. I wasn't actually expecting us to see it, because it usually always starts, like, miles away. But I guess maybe it depends on uh, where you, which corner you start from or something. I so. so I think we could probably just set this to one chunk, unless I'm really unlucky and these aren't in one chunk. Yep, they are. So I think that's not, that's not fast enough. What? <laughs> wow. 
This isn't fast enough. What? How can that not pull out fast? It doesn't... It, it must be pulling out. Can you go over to RF tools for a second and see yep. if it's pulling out okay? Uh, oh, only on one half. Can you... Oh. Interesting. Maybe. Well. Huh? I was expecting this to be a lot more efficient. You know what I'm thinking? What? Ender chest. Ender chest. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, your thing is... Ooh, so the problem isn't that it can't pull out fast enough. The that problem it? is that it can't make any more EMC, I guess. Oh, I wonder if I stick a diamond on the... Um, receiving end mm -hmm. and then say only put in a stack okay will that do something like right? that should only limit it to an input of a stack I'm just going to turn this off for a second so I think the problem here is that we're seeing is basically the mark 1 isn't incredible yeah but we're we are making a lot of EMC I think is what's happening here so yeah, we got lots of dark matter now. That is that is good. Um, so what we really want to do with this thing would be to make a higher tier matter. So at the moment, the highest we can make is purple. I can't yes. remember what this uses to make it. It uses dark matter. So if I just chuck some in the system, does that mean this is easy to craft? Yes, it is so easy to craft. So what we can do here is change that and. Mm -hmm. Now we can chuck all this in the system. And if I take a stack of those, should be able to chuck those in the system and easily craft a pink matter. Oh, this is so good. You nice. know how painful this was to it make was the pink matter? It painful. It took like 12 hours or something stupid. Oh, oh are we actually catching up now? Yeah, it looks like it. Can you see the EMC now then? That's yeah. interesting. I wonder what happened there. No idea. But. This should hopefully keep it going a little while if we change it to purple matter. Yeah, that seems to be going. So now the limitation seems to be the fact that this machine is not very fast. Yes. But that's... We that it, oh, we, machine. We've never held, held purple matter before, so oh, okay. <laughs> it's pretty nice. But yeah, we, we need the upgraded one. But yeah. that is pretty awesome. To I be mean, fair, the purple matter is what we need for the transmutation table. Did you see what else we need for the transmutation table? No, I did not look at the other things. Eight insanium ingots. Ah, uh, okay, yes. We, yeah. will, that, that we will don't want to make the transmutation table. We want to make the wand of animation. Yes. So that is most definitely going to be our next stop, next episode. We do need lime matter, but even with this... Mm, I think even with this slowish EMC generation, we can probably make lime matter. Yeah. I think... I said that about the last thing and was completely wrong. <laughs> I'm actually not sure. No. Do we need to go up to the Mark II? Can we go up to the Mark II? That's easy. Blue matter is not far away. Okay. Yeah. We can go up to the Mark II basically now. Oh, I'm not okay. going to because we're running quite short on time. But I think the next port of stop is actually replacing the Mark 1 with the Mark 2 at the start of next episode. Yeah, sounds good. Perfect. But I feel like we got quite a lot done today. It did take a bit longer than expected. I did not anticipate finding that dimlet being quite so challenging. But uh, <laughs> we do now have a crazy supply of EMC, or will have, when we can yes. actually take advantage of it. But thanks for watching, guys, and we'll be back soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.